the Hyperion. If you've been keeping up to date with the latest and greatest endgame gear inside of Hypixel Skyblock, then I'm sure you've heard about this prestigious weapon. The Necron handles being one of the materials used to craft this weapon have been going for hundreds of millions of coins on the auction house, and the weapon has grabbed a lot of attention from thousands of players. Its capabilities both in and out of dungeons have never been seen before by any other update to this day, but is this weapon really worth all the hype? Before we dive into all the juicy details, if you have any further questions or comments about this video, feel free to visit me over on my Twitch streams, I stream every Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the links are down in the description below. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so as you can see in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different style of video because I don't really cover super expensive gear, high level dungeon stuff or really anything of the sorts as I tend to stick with more informative content for you guys who seem to be more in like the early to mid game stages of the game. However, one of the newer weapons that was added to the game so far being the Hyperion here has actually sort of taken Skyblock by storm and everybody's talking about it, everybody's using it and there's a lot of hype that's sort of been built around this weapon as a lot of people are saying it's super powerful, it's OP, this and that, and people are getting ridiculous times on floor 7 with this weapon. And considering that one of my friends ended up getting his hands on this, which is his, I am borrowing it once again, I don't have the money to afford this weapon, and he's kindly lent this to me for this video, I decided I would talk about it a little bit, gather some data, do some testing, and figure out whether or not it really is worth the hype, and if you should even consider going for it, or thinking about going for it anytime soon. So first things first, let's cover how you get this weapon, how you can obtain it, how you craft it, the recipes, and a little bit more detail about it, just in case you guys haven't already seen how it works. So as you can see, the recipe to craft the Hyperion is pretty simple. You need to surround a Necron's Blade, the unrefined version, with a bunch of lasers eyes in order to get yourself the Hyperion. Now the way that you get the Necron's Blade is using a Necron's Handle, which is actually a very expensive item, and I will cover that just shortly. And then you need 24 Wither Catalysts, which are also pretty expensive, but nowhere near expensive as the Necron's Handle. Now just to put this into perspective, as you can see, we've got 5 Necron Handles here on the auction right now, and the lowest bin is 350. 50 million coins, which is pretty excessive. It's a very, very pricey weapon. That's the handle alone. After that, you're going to need to grab all the Wither Catalysts as well. And you'll also need to get the Laser's Eyes, the Enchants, the Stars as well. And there's also a set of scrolls you will need, which as you can see, we have the Shadow Warp scroll over here. There's also the Wither Shield scroll here. So this is 70 mil and this is around about 67 mil. And then there's the Implosion scroll, which is about 72 million coins. Now what you can do with all three of these scrolls is when you combine them all in an anvil and you put it on this weapon, you get a very cool item ability called Wither Impact, and you can see there it teleports you 10 blocks ahead of you, then you implode everything around you, it's like an explosion that deals damage, that does 47,000 damage, or that's with my gear currently outside of dungeons, and then it also gives you like a set of absorption hearts, which is thanks to the Wither Shield scroll. Overall, making this weapon incredibly powerful with the already crazy stats that it has, and it lets you sort of just teleport around like this right now it kind of acts like an aote but it has all these other fancy perks as well which makes it super super powerful now we'll be showcasing a little bit of gameplay in today's video of a floor forerun that i did before i started recording just to show you guys how the weapon performs inside of dungeons with a mage build the one that i'm rocking right now but i want to show you guys sort of how it works outside of dungeons just to give you an idea of what this thing actually does and as you can see we've got like a group of zombies here they're pretty spaced out there's three of them with like what about seven blocks in between each other but if we stand right in the middle here and I right click once, it's actually able to hit all three of those zombies at once and we end up dealing 1.8 million damage in just one right click which doesn't use much mana when you do use ultimate wise 5 and a sheep pet. Now the cool thing about this weapon is that you could pretty much travel say the graveyard just very quickly and destroy everything in your path. If I wanted to I could just teleport around here, kill all the zombies on the way, fly around this way, get those zombies as well, fly this way, grab those zombies and as you can see it's very very powerful. There's not too much of a use of it outside of dungeons right now. You can use it to zealot farm but if you do have this gear you probably won't be zealot farming and you'd probably be doing floor 7 dungeons for money instead. However the option is still there and it's pretty cool overall. I do think it's a very fun weapon to use and I just want to showcase that a little bit right now. So for the first clip here we're able to easily wipe the floor clean with the Hyperion right after opening the Wither Door. Not even taking a single bit of damage we move towards a frozen adventurer where we completely destroy it in a matter of seconds, picking up the blood key and being able to move on to the next rooms. 
Moving on to the yellow room now, there's really not much else to say here, as the Hyperion just completely melts through King Midas' health, and we come out of the room straight after to continue on with the rest of the run. And now for the last clip, we are in the boss room once again showing off the immense capability that the Hyperion has, completely annihilating everything that comes near us, including the Spirit Bear, making it easy to just pick up the bow, line up a shot, and finish off the run with an easy S+. Plus. So now that you guys have seen how powerful this weapon is, clearing rooms, taking out mini bosses, and also the boss room on floor 4, I just want to give my thoughts on this weapon, talk about it a little bit more. Whether it's really worth the hype, is it that good where it's worth the 650 million coins that it is? And should you work towards it? Should you even consider working towards it even if you are nowhere near that 650 million coin mark? And what do I think is going to happen with this weapon, and where is its value going to head in the next few months? So as I'm aware, I'm sure that 99% of my viewers watching this video right now probably do not have anywhere near the funds to get this weapon, as even I myself do not have anywhere near the coins to get one. So already right off the bat, a 650 million coin price tag is very, very hefty. A lot of people can't afford that. So this weapon definitely has to be very, very good in order for it to be worth so much. And it is. It's very powerful. It has insane capabilities, as you guys saw with that footage I showed you. So when it comes to the price tag, I would say it's definitely worth it. Although there are some very interesting things regarding the price of the Hyperion, which I think are going to happen in the next few weeks. So like any other new item or super cool thing that gets added to the game, everything loses value eventually and finds its right home on the market. Now, at the time of me recording this video, Paul is actually going to be elected in 13 hours here. As you can see, we've got about 13 hours, 22 minutes till the election's over. And if you look on the tab list, Paul is currently winning with 55% of the votes, which means that there's a high chance that he'll be elected as the next mayor and a lot of people will be doing dungeon runs there'll probably be a lot more floor 7 completions and there'll also be a lot more necron handles with the chest plates and other cool items that will be dropped now do i think that the value of the hyperion will drop when paul is released yes but not as much as you would think. The new mail will definitely affect the prices of the Necron's handle, being the most expensive part of the sword, in one way or another, as more people are doing more runs, more people are getting their hands on them, and there'll be more on the auction that will be undercutting each other. However, only one election of poll will not be enough to bring it down drastically, or at least in a somewhat affordable price range for most people. My bets are on the Necron handle dropping around 20 to 50 million coins in value, and if that's the case, they probably won't even dip below 300 million coins so they'll still be very expensive and hard to get your hands on but they still will drop one way or another and they will slowly begin to lose value it's definitely going to take a lot more than just one poll election in order to drop the necron handles down to like say 100 mil or maybe even like 150 mil i'm not saying they will drop this far but if they did it would definitely take a lot longer than just a few days so i wouldn't be getting your hopes up too high just yet so how does this relate to you as the viewer you may be asking? Well, the answer to that is that there's really no rush in trying to get your hands on this weapon as it will start losing value eventually no matter what. And if you're a mid-game player, a late-game player, or someone with a fairly decent amount of money but just nowhere near anything of the 600 million coins this is worth, there's no real need to worry about trying to get your hands on one. This doesn't mean, however, that it's not worth 600 million coins as I do feel like it is definitely worth that much. So if you do have the funds for it and you are willing to pay that hefty price tag, go ahead. I don't think the prices will drop too drastically for it to be a huge waste of money. And either way, 650 million coins for this amazing weapon is most definitely worth it. So for the very small minority that do have the funds, go ahead and get yourself a Hyperion. Now, a very important thing to note about this weapon is that this will not stay the best sword in the game for very long. There's a higher chance with the release of new updates that this will start to get outclassed by other things. Just like the Midas Sword was the best sword for a very, very long time, then it was slowly beat by the Aspect of the Dragons with the Dragon Pet. And now with all this really cool dungeon gear, you've got things like the Liver Dagger, the Flower of Truth, and now, of course, the Hyperion and the Valkyrie that completely destroy the Gilded Midas in damage and make it look like it's worth nothing. This means that new updates are more likely to drop the price of the Hyperion as not as many people are going to need them and people who do drop Necron handles are going to start undercutting each other until of course eventually one of them sells but this will drop the price quite a fair bit. 
but the sword will still remain the same. I'm pretty sure that it won't get a crazy nerf or anything ridiculous anytime soon, as like I said, it's most definitely worth the price that it's at right now. So it's only really good things that will be able to come to this weapon, being that the price will become cheaper, but it will still remain as powerful as it was me recording this video and a few months later down the line. This does not, however, mean that the price will drop a crazy amount or it will continue to drop and never spike back up in price. I do feel like when a new update is going to be released or when there's sort of leaks for a new update to be released, as you guys may know, the Abyss update has been leaked for a long time now and there's a lot of interesting items that may come to the game very soon and there's also leaks for huge content updates that will be released. There's a good chance that very wealthy people who do have a lot of money will try to get their hands on some Hyperions or maybe some Valkyries just before these updates are released so that they are well prepared for the new stuff so they can get all of it early and profit massively. So in that sense, there's a good chance that the prices might rise for a little bit, but I still feel like they will end up dropping overall. Once again, meaning that there's really no rush for anybody to try and get this weapon unless you are a high level dungeon sweat who does want to get the best gear possible and do very, very quick for 7 runs to profit massively and make millions of coins. So all in all, is this weapon worth the hype? I would say most definitely. You guys saw the sheer power that it had in that dungeon run, taking out mini bosses, clearing out rooms, and even clearing out the boss room on floor 4. While it's definitely not the only weapon that you need for dungeon runs, as there are some weaknesses to it, it still provides a crazy amount of value to any class in the game. And at the moment, it is an essential asset to any high-level dungeon party, which of course, in my opinion, justifies the crazy price tag this weapon has, and will continue to retain for a very long time. But with all of that being said, hopefully you all did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel as I do make these Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. And also if you've got any further questions, comments, or suggestions about this video, be sure to visit me when I'm live over on my Twitch streams. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. We do have a lot of open discussions over there. So if you want to see some further gameplay with this weapon, or you want to talk to me about it and you've got some further questions, that's a very good place to be. Be. But with all that being said, a few all did enjoy this video, and as always, take care and peace. Uh, guys, you want to hear my dolphin water bottle? Ah, there we go. Satisfied.